Hello, lovelies. All right, give me a sec because Facebook is not letting me um, put a description in here, which is like crazy annoying. So let me see if it'll let me do it over here. Hello, that thing's noisy. So tell me if you are hopping on, tell me how you are doing today. I would love to hear um, where you are watching from and what is new for you today. So let me see, let me scoot my phone over and then I don't know if it'll let me do it. Uh, let's see, edit maybe, maybe we'll see if it'll let me. There we go. Boom. Ha! I love it. All right. There we go. So tell me how you are doing and if you're watching this, um, here we go. I now have a description up. So I'm just gonna walk you through it So, because you probably can't read it while you're watching this. So today I'm actually doing kind of an unofficial, <laughs> spontaneous workshop starting now, right now. Um, I'm not always the best at announcing these things and creating this big event and all of that. So I just wanted to get this out here and share it with you guys. So, um, if you are watching live, drop me a little heart and let me know where you're watching from. And if you're watching the replay, drop a little hashtag replay for me and let me know. Hopefully by the time you're watching this on the replay, you'll have been able to read the description. So tell me what you were excited to learn about in this. I'm not going to be too long, so I'll keep it short for today. And then I'm going to do day two tomorrow and I will probably be doing it over in the making sense of a healthy life community. So if you are not in that community, make sure you hop in there. I will drop a link for that here in a little bit. So what I wanted to do today and tomorrow is a quick unofficial workshop to help you start thriving as your whole self. So this is day one of thriving as your whole self. Um, a lot of what I do is based around the idea of treating you as a whole human being. You're not just a body. You're not just a mind. You're not even just a soul. You are all three together. And it is only through treating all three as one that we can really get you thriving and we can correct anything that has been going wrong for you, whether in your body, in your mind, or even in your soul. So a lot of what I do, um, for those of you guys who don't know me, I'm just Jess Rowe. I'm a holistic health and fitness coach. I'm adding intuitive in there too because so much of what I do is just so intuitive. It's hard to explain sometimes. Um, but like basically bodies speak to me. I can talk with you and you don't even have to say that much. I can pick up on a ton of what is going on for you. I can pick up on what you are needing and I can help guide you towards the solutions that are best for you. So we never take away your power. You always stay fully in your own power. And I really view myself more as a guide, less as a coach, um, more guiding you towards um, really reconnecting with your body and making the best choices for you so you can finally start thriving instead of just surviving. I focus a lot on the physical, um, on how we can best support your body so that it can in turn support your mind and your soul. I believe we're all here for a purpose. Our souls have a purpose in being here on this planet, but our souls have been attached to a body and the body is here to carry us through this life and to help us generate all the energy that we need and to really help us experience life as fully as possible because without our bodies, we couldn't experience everything, right? So um, what I want to talk about today is um, something that's coming up. You might have seen on my post or on my wall um, that Emily and I are creating something really exciting. And so today we're talking about kind of what that means. And Emily and I are going to be going live together next week to really tell you more about it. But today I wanted to share this workshop that will really help you start taking those first steps, whether you're interested in working with Emily and I or not. I want to get you taking those first steps towards truly thriving as your whole self instead of continuing to stay stuck. So 
Today we're really talking about how to get unstuck fast, get to the root of your problems and get you thriving as quickly as possible because I want you thriving for the holidays. I don't want this to be another holiday season where you are overwhelmed and exhausted and sacrificing your own well-being just to try to make it a happy holiday for everyone else. Like you deserve to enjoy the holidays too. So this is for you if you want to believe that it is possible to balance everything. I've heard a lot of people talk about how balance isn't real, but it truly can be. So if you want to balance everything, so like you are thriving financially while you're fully present with your family, while you're taking care of yourself, this is the space for you because that's what we talk about here is really turning that into your reality because you should never have to be surviving. You should always be able to thrive at least on some level and you should definitely always be able to feel amazing in your body while feeling powerfully confident in your mind in trusting yourself and while feeling totally fulfilled in your life. Those are absolutely things that you should not only dream of, but those are the standards and the expectations that you should have for yourself in this life. Because through having those, you are able to make a powerful impact on this world. So it's possible, but to make this your reality, you have to undo all the societal conditioning that has kept you stuck in survival and lack and that total self-distrust. That's kind of a big task when you think about it, right? You have to undo all of this conditioning that has kept you stuck. Um, so the reason you actually have to do this is because you cannot have this beautiful balance if you have these other beliefs that keep you stuck. You can't want this beautiful dream of balance while inside all of your thoughts and all of your beliefs are telling you that no it's selfish to get your needs met that's selfish that's you should feel guilty about that and you're only worthy of love and happiness if you're sacrificing your own well-being to give to others like it's you can't you can't have that you're never going to get that right you're, you're never going to get that beautiful balanced reality if on the inside those are the thoughts going on for you um also like you're not going to have that good relationship with your body, you're not going to feel strong and confident and healthy if you're settling for the social belief that you have to settle with feeling crappy in your body just because you're getting older because you had kids. None of that's true. It is absolutely not true. So you have to start embracing the truth. And here's the truth. This is the big one. Like write this one down and put it on your wall if you want, okay? But you have to start embracing the truth that getting your needs met does not mean you're selfish. This is what it means. It means that you care enough about your family and your business and your life that you want to give everyone around you the best possible version of yourself. That's what happens when you actually take care of yourself and get your needs met. You are able to become the best possible version of yourself, and that is when you are able to give everything that you want to be able to give from a place of joy and overflow. And so it's not selfish. It's actually the way that you make that happen. Taking care of yourself, getting your needs met is the way you become the best possible version of yourself so that you can thrive, so that your family can thrive, so that you can thrive financially, so that you can thrive in this world. So it all starts with taking care of yourself. And when you recognize that, if, if, that, if, I, if me saying that makes you go, oh my gosh, yes, yes, I want that to be true, then you're ready to start the journey. That's all you need to have in place is just that desire. And so you've probably basically already taken this step, right? Um, you've already recognized that this is what you want. You want that balance, but now you need to actually take those steps to undo that social conditioning that keeps you stuck in this place of survival and lack. Um, and we need to break those cycles of overgiving. It's, it's habitual at this point for you. So the society has conditioned you to do it, to overgive, to self-sacrifice. It's even conditioned you to just keep going on that yo-yo roller coaster of the health fads where you do a crash diet, do an intense workout regimen, get a few results, and then boom, you can't maintain it. Um, and you're back to square one or maybe even worse off. So we have to start breaking those cycles for you while at the same time reconnecting you with your values 
and helping you actually get to know who the best version of yourself is so we can start integrating you body, mind, and soul so you can become the whole thriving self, the whole beautiful package. So it's like we have to kind of undo this conditioning while putting in new conditioning, basically. And so that, of course, takes practice and mindfulness and really intentionally rewiring these patterns and, and really choosing to make this new paradigm your reality. So to do that, like I wish I could tell you that you, ooh, you just make this decision and that's that you're going to embrace this new paradigm and it's going to be so, but it's not. And because you've already you've already embraced it. If you want this, you have already embraced it. So why are you not getting it now? And the reason is, is because there's four stages that you actually have to move through to get from where you are to that new beautiful balance. And so I'm going to share the first two stages today. And then tomorrow I'll be sharing the other two. But I want you to, I really wanted to share the first two stages, especially here on my profile where as many people can see it as possible. So please do feel free to share this with anyone who needs to hear it um, because these are the two stages that always, always get overlooked. I guarantee they are being overlooked if you are still stuck in that old paradigm of survival mode and lack and overgiving and the yo-yo diet and exercise cycle. Um, if you are still stuck there, but you want to get to the new balance, then I guarantee you're missing these first two stages. And so I wanted to tell you what those stages are today because when you can start embracing those stages and recognizing them and putting them to work for you, that is when you're going to start moving forward. So um, if you've been feeling like you are inconsistent or you're unmotivated or like nothing is working and you're super frustrated, it's these stages that you want to focus on first. So I want to share those with you and then tomorrow I'll be sharing the other two. And I think I'll, if I have time today, I will share um, what I have in store for you what Emily and I have in store for you. So um, stage one is actually creating your safety net. And this one is where we start managing your stress. We start really taking back control over your life because generally when you are stuck in survival mode, it's because you feel overwhelmed and out of control within your body, within your life, within your relationships, all of that. So we need to actually get you taking back control and create this safe foundation where it is safe to be in your body and where you are taking back your power so that we can build from there because we can't make these kind of shifts. I mean, I'm talking about rewiring your brain here and we can't do that if you are in survival mode. If you are still stuck in fight or flight mode, your brain's not receptive to this kind of work, this kind of rewiring. So we need to actually get you feeling safe again and decrease that stress or help you build resilience to that stress. So even if the stress doesn't change, like you have this like glorious barrier that just makes you impervious to it. So you're totally grounded back in being who you are and being able to make empowered choices from that. So a lot of this stage is getting to the root of your problems and really recognizing. Um, so like the best example for you is for people who um, come to me saying, like, I am so overwhelmed. I am so drained that I cannot stick with anything. I can't stick with anything. And if that's you, let me know. Give me a little heart or something. Let me know if that's you. Because if that's the case, then the the problem is not that you can't stick to a, a diet or you can't stick to a workout plan. The problem is that you are so overwhelmed and so drained that you don't have the capacity to do that. And trying to force yourself to do a diet or an exercise program is just going to keep you stuck in that survival mode because we're not actually building that safe foundation for you. So we want to get to the root of that first. What do you need to start protecting your energy? What do you need to start rebuilding or refilling your cup? What do you need to start feeling safe in your body or empowered and back in control of your life? 
Um, so that, of course, I bet I could ask all of you guys watching and you would probably give me about 20 different answers on what you specifically need right now. But that's what we have to start focusing on first is what need needs to be met first so we can help you feel safe, create that safety net that we can then build from. Um, basically getting you out of fight or flight mode and into a safe space where you can actually rest and digest and recover and calm that nervous system, right? Then, um, and I should note, these stages do tend to kind of overlap. <laughs> so um, you don't just move from stage one to stage two to stage three. Like it, it depends. It, you, you'll cycle back through. But you want to focus, of course, on stage one. Then once you are in this space where you are feeling at least a little bit better, and that can happen very rapidly. Um, like within one session with me, most of my clients will tend to start getting into that stage one and finding what their foundation is. Um, stage two is where we actually start leveraging your body's healing abilities because your body and your whole self, I should say too, body, mind, and soul, all of that is designed to be very, um, it's designed to be intuitive. It's it's designed to know what it needs to be done. Your body is designed to heal itself. Your brain is designed to heal itself. Your soul is designed to govern everything and to help guide you. You just have to remove the blocks that are in the way. Um, so we want to start actually leveraging that innate healing ability that you were born with. And so the work that I do, and Emily will tell you more about the work that she does because she focuses more on like the mind and the emotional side of things. And I, I of course, focus more on the physical. So I work with my clients to start finding ways of moving that actually feel good, that allow their bodies to heal. So all those aches and pains go away. Um, movement becomes enjoyable. Exercise becomes enjoyable and possible. And we re rebuild the strength in your body through learning how to move again, basically learning how to actually be present in your body, as well as the um, nutrition side of things, helping heal your gut, helping you get a better relationship with food where you're actually nourishing yourself, body, mind, and soul. So we're not restricting anything, but we are helping um, fuel your body with the energy that it truly needs. So that's stage two. And so often, especially with stage two, I'm sure you're hearing me talk about basically diet and exercise. And that's where stage two gets so contorted and it gets twisted into this thing that actually hurts you instead of helps you in our society. And that's where you have people doing all of the fad diets, all of the most popular workout programs, and wondering why they're still hurting in their body, wondering why they feel so much anxiety when it comes time to eat, and wondering why they just don't feel good in their body. And it's because those things are not leveraging your body's healing abilities. They are not helping you reconnect with your body. In fact, they're actually encouraging you to disconnect further from your body and simply follow these external rules about what you should and shouldn't be doing and to actually force your body to do these things that your body is over here telling you these are not right for me and that is why you can do all these fat diets you can do all of these workout programs and not make any progress and potentially get worse and generally, that's why you cannot maintain those kinds of things because your body will fight back if you are forcing it to do something that's not right for your body. Your body will fight back and it will shut you down so that you cannot continue doing it. And so if you've felt inconsistent or you have felt unmotivated, that's your body trying to protect you because you're trying to force it to do things that are not right for you. And so that's the work that I do is I help you really reconnect with your body and identify those things that are right for you. So suddenly consistency and motivation are no longer an issue because when you're making aligned decisions for yourself that feel good, that make you feel good, that you recognize have a benefit for you, you'll be consistent with them. You will be motivated to do them. It's a non-issue. So um, let me know how those first two stages land for you. I want to know especially um, how you would like to integrate those 
into your life. If you have any ideas or if you at least if um, if ideas pop up for you of like how you have not been integrating those stages into your journey, um, let me know where you are at with those. And then we can actually build on them to help you start making progress towards creating this beautiful balance in your life. So um, what Emily and I, here's our little, our soft announcement here. Um, Emily and I are actually working together because since I do more of the body, um, the physical focus, and she does the mind and emotional focus, we decided to combine and create a three week intensive program to really help you make these changes so that we can rapidly undo the diet and exercise culture conditioning and the social conditioning that has kept you stuck in that old paradigm of feeling like you can only survive and you are always stuck in lack and like you cannot have that balance that you want. We're gonna undo all of that conditioning and help you actually get to the root of your problem and not like some cookie cutter program. It's like, we're gonna focus on you and get to the root of your problem, help you rewire that, help you get reconnected with who that best version of yourself is, what your values truly are, what your body is truly asking for, and get you to that new balance just in time for the holidays because it is possible to do it in three weeks. Um, it's gonna be a three week program and we're just so stinking excited to be creating this and to hopefully be helping all of you to make this beautiful change for yourself so that you can actually be enjoying this new paradigm right in time for the holidays and be thriving all the way through the holidays. So not only do you get to create this beautiful holiday experience for your family and your loved ones, but you get to enjoy it as well. So that's it for now. Um, if you would like, I have two more stages I'm going to talk you through um, tomorrow. So that's going to be over in my Making Sense of a Healthy Life community. So please join me there if you want to hear about those other two stages um, that you will get to enjoy leaping into once you have stage one and two, that creating your safety net and then leveraging your body's healing abilities. Um, once you get those two down, you get to enjoy stage three and four, and I'll share what those are tomorrow. And so we'll be taking you through in the whole life, the whole self revival is what we're going to be calling the three week Im immersion. Um, and we'll be taking you through at least the first three stages. You will potentially get to the fourth stage as well, but all you need is the first three to really start thriving in time for the holidays. So let me know if you have questions. Let me know where you are at with stage one and two. I would love to hear about your experience with that. And um, I'd love to just have more of a discussion about it. So that's it for now. Let me know how all this lands with you and I will see you tomorrow for day two. Bye guys.